Go up, Steve, that love to work their half court sets. What can fans expect when they watch this one? These are two unique teams. We don't see too many slow-paced teams these days, Kevin. But what you can expect is the teams trying to dominate the paint on the offensive end and on the defensive end. And now the opening lineup for Detroit. Bay and Grant are the forwards. Cunningham is out there with Corey Joseph. And Stewart in at the center, locking down the middle. Kuzma gets the three-pointer to fall. The smooth, no-hesitation shot from Kuzma, keeping him one step ahead of the defense. Joseph, the pass to Stewart. Here's Bay. Here's Cunningham. Trying to come right back with the three of his own. But it's no good. Here's Neto. He's covered by Joseph. Grant against Kuzma. The kick out to Brunt. Clock is at three. Here's Caldwell Pope. The shot comes out. The Pistons go the other way with it. Their last encounter was in Detroit. It was a loss last time they faced up against each other. A very tightly contested game that they felt they could have won. It could have gone either way, but unfortunately for them, they ended up on the losing side of that score. So it's Washington now. Here's Neto. We saw him with 10 points last game. Drives to the hoop over Joseph. Neto can't get it to go. And here are the Pistons now. It's a three-point game. Joseph against Caldwell Pope. Down low. Here's Bay. And misses it off the right side of the rim. For Washington, they've gone just one of four to get this game started. Gisbert kicks to Neto. There's the pass to Kuzma. And here is Kispert. And another miss by Washington. Grant dishes to Joseph. Over to the left wing. Bay finds Stewart. And Grant now top of the key. It's good from the top of the key. Washington's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Pass to Caldwell Pope. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. With the drive, Joseph, that's good. Man, I'll tell you, when you get your floater game going, it's a tremendous weapon. Checking out the numbers for Joseph, how he performed last season. He put up about eight points a game last season. Three assists and two rebounds. Nothing about his numbers really jump out at you, but he'll come up with a timely play or two every game. He understands his role. He accepts it. He's one of those guys who doesn't need the ball to be effective. Now, here's Cunningham. Well, Smitty, he is a self-professed gym rat. For Kyle Kuzma, hoops was his ticket out of Flint, Michigan to make a better life, and he's done that. He has overcoming the odds. Wasn't the most touted prospect, a late first-round pick, but dreams do come true, and he's not done yet, Kevin. Kispert, the pass to Neto. To the right side. Kispert kicks to Kuzma. Just five on the clock. Launches a three. Doesn't go that time. And it's Detroit the other way. Pass to Stewart. Now here's Joseph. Pistons passing it around. 
Grant gets a wide open look and a miss there on the triple. And here's Caldwell Pope. He brings it up for Washington. Out of bounds. Detroit takes possession. And we've got a moment now to look at the highest scoring teams in the NBA from last season. In the third position, the Wizards. I just loved how this team attacked their opponents. You could see their confidence grow as the year went on, and the points really started to pile up. I post Stewart. Cunningham with it. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Grant outside. Again, the miss by Grant. Off the mark once again. Terrible quarter for him thus far. Caldwell Poe passes to Neto. Pass to Kuzma. Shoots over Grant. The shot's good from Kuzma. Kuzma's got five points so far. Putting his height on full display. Kuzma has the ability to shoot over defenders. A good look from Grant. No good off the back of the rim. He just doesn't look like himself this quarter. Something's missing. And it also shows you how difficult this game is. He's just a little bit off, but it can result in missing everything. Now here's Caldwell Pope following the miss by Jeremy Grant. And Caldwell Pope gets the basket. All heart from Caldwell Pope there, using every ounce of strength to muscle that shot in. Pistons trail by six. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Cunningham kicks to Bay. They could use a bucket. Bryant with the rebound. Bryant's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Neto, the pass to Kispert. Back to Neto. Caldwell Pope outside. Kuzma, right side. Bryant with a screen on Joseph. Four on the clock. The Wizards need to get a shot off here. And it's out of bounds. And they say last touch by Bryant. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. Hayes is checked in for Corey Joseph. Pistons trail by six to the left wing. Here's Grant. Detroit, no good that time either. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. There's a screen by Bryant. The pass to Kuzma. Six to shoot. Bryant with a screen on Grant. Here's Kuzma. Dishes it to Bryant. Rejected by Grant. Nice defensive reflexes from Jeremy Grant. Able to get in there and throw off that shot. And we just got a second look there at the exceptional mobile one block. And that block might serve as a spark for this team. We'll see if it can ignite them. And a new group getting ready for the Wizards. Gill is checked in for Thomas Bryant. Hachimura comes in for Kyle Kuzma. Javier's checked in for Kispert. And Smith subbed in for Raul Neto. Wasted no time on that one. Grant's got five now. With that now, only two of seven to start the game. Not the start he was hoping for. Wizards leading by three. 
Smith scanning the floor. And Sadiq Bey picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. A different look here for Detroit. Olenek, he's checked in for Stewart. Diallo comes in for Sadiq Bey. And Roddy Magruder's subbed in for Cunningham. Here's Gill. Out to the wing. In a wide open look for Hachimura. And the three ball is good. And the Wizards lead by six. Just solid with the jump shot. Hachimura helps your offense in a number of ways. In that case, spacing the floor. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. Yeah, exceptional play there to take the bump and still get it to fall. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Wizards. They didn't need any time to warm up from long range today. Their three-point shooting has been terrific in the first half. And the other thing, though, is their execution in terms of their ball movement has been flawless. Sets up a lot of easy scoring opportunities. On the free throw, no good. Well, Smitty, opening day is upon us. You excited for the new season? I am, Kevin. First of all, you love seeing the new rookie class, how they fit in. Second, a lot of these teams with a lot of trades and moving parts. And some of these franchises that have acquired new coaches. Pistons trail by seven. There's a good screen. 11 feet away, and the foul on Rui Hachimura. That is his first foul of the game. Off the inbound, and Detroit again with the bucket. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why, it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Now here is Smith. No points in the game yet for him. It's Caldwell Pope with the drive. And he goes up strong with one hand and flushes it down. And you see the quickness of KCP bursting to the rim. Detroit's gone a meager 1-6 from three-point land since we got started tonight. Here's Magruder. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Charlotte. Lock at six. The Pistons need to get off a shot here. They grab their own miss, and they pick up two. Oh, Linux got his second bucket of the game to go. And they've come out with a take-no-prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. Out of bounds. Detroit takes possession. Pistons trail by five. Get outside, get outside. And it's Grant in the corner. Jacks up a three. Avdia with the rebound. Well, it isn't for a lack of effort when it comes to getting up the three-pointers. But not much to show for it. He's going to lose the green light here very early in this game if this keeps up. Now here is Hetchimer. He's coming off a 13-point game against Sacramento. Shoots over a Linux. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. And... Being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. Here's Magruder. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Grant finds Hayes. Nice ball movement by Detroit. There's the drive. And there's the bucket from Magruder. Clearly caught him off guard with that move. Not the guy you'd expect to bust out a spin. But it worked beautifully there. And it's Smith with the ball. He brings it up for the Wizards. Three-point lead. Caldwell Pope outside. Now, here's Avdia. Olenek is covering. And that one is good. And the Wizards lead by five. I mean, every time down the floor, this is what you're trying to do. Find the right matchup. A minute 50 left to play in the first quarter. 
And A's kicks to Grant. Now here's Hayes, covered by Smith. Pass to Olenek, to the wing on the left. Here's Diallo. Misses the three. Wizards leading by five. Hachimura setting the pick for Caldwell Pope. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Yeah, much improved foul shooter. KCP also starting to get to the line at a higher rate. It's his first trip to the line. And he was dialed in at the line a season ago. 87% from the line. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. And Caldwell Pope drops them both. I'll tell you, he doesn't give points away. Excellent job from the line. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Olenek, a screen on Caldwell Pope, and he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And a look here at the scoring trend over the last several months for Kyle Kuzma. And he's been on the upswing offensively these past few months, and, and you know how much they love getting all those extra points out of him. He's been carrying a much bigger load lately, and, and I think he'll just continue to get better. He misses the free throw. Well, pr probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. No good on the second free throw. Uh, a team's rebounding is a great measure of its energy, and theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter. Here's Hayes. This is it to Diallo. Six on the shot clock. A three ball. They get it back. Here's Magruder. Driving inside. And at last, they get one to fall. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. Wizards leading by five. Pass to Gill. Now here is Smith, covered by Hayes. Smith inside. He's against Olenek. Avdia can't hit. The Pistons shooting in this first quarter. Around 38%. They're looking a bit creaky out there. And there's the foul. It's on Rodney Magruder. That is his first foul of the game. 17 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Smith outside. To the middle. Stolen by Grant. Out left to the wing. With one on the clock. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Wizards out front. They're up by five. We'll be back shortly, live from Washington. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Wizards? Aggressive at running guys to the backboard. You could tell it was part of their game plan coming in. And they have the guys to do it. Play to your strengths, and they can make up for some of your weaknesses. 
On the court for the Pistons, Cunningham and Bay share the wing duty. Isaiah Stewart out there with Grant, and it's Hayes in at the one. Grant, that's good. Watching Hayes, he keeps his eyes up, always looking for a better shot, either for himself or his teammates. Here's Neto. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Kuzma against Bay. Kicks it to Cunningham. And here's Hayes. 11 points for him in that last game against Charlotte. Five on the clock. Let's go. Here's Grant. He nails it. And we're tied up. Grant's got 10 points. And he put on his hard hat on the offensive glass. Jeremy Grant knows where to be in these situations. Avdia, the pass to Neto. Inside. Ryan in the post. Guarded by Stewart. Kuzma kicks to Kispert. Drops in the tray. Kispert's got his second bucket. That's a shot the defense looked like it was willing to give up. Big mistake. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Kristaps Porzingis is returning to form after his knee surgery. He says making sure it's strong and stable is nonstop work. And I'm feeling better, and I have confidence that I can go out there and play freely. His offense has been great. It's the defensive end he's still getting right. Guys? Well, we know he can be a presence DA, and I think eventually he's going to be what he wants to be. Thank you. And you know what, Smitty? He knows his role. Kyle Kuzma's not shy getting up shots. Kevin, he does not lack confidence. If the shot's there, he's going to take it. He's capable of filling it up at all three levels. Stewart finds Grant. Another three for Detroit. Gradually starting to put pressure on this defense. That's the second from downtown this quarter. Three for the game. Ryan against Stewart. And it's Bryant missing. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. Back to Grant. Addition out to Cunningham. And he drives in. Here's Stewart. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. And you look at all the numbers, Smitty, but leadership is hard to measure and still so vital to winning. Give me some examples in your experience of great leadership. You know, I'll say one example, Kevin. A lot of people think it's on the court, but off the court, leadership really plays a big role on those off days, on those bus rides, just getting a chance to talk to the younger players. I think that's one example where leadership plays a huge role. They throw good, Stewart. Wizards trail by three to the inside and stolen by Bay. And now the Pistons fast break. Here's Hayes. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. And now we'll get perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for the Pistons. Their aggressiveness on D has been the most glaring aspect of this game so far. They have the heat turned all the way up in this first half. And another thing they've done right from the start is converting a lot of those second chance opportunities those can be hard to come by sometimes and the wizards with possession after the basket by detroit here's avdia the wizards with another miss detroit with the ball they're on a 15 to 5 run and just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter and there's the pass to Cunningham. Back to Bay. It's over Abdiya. And Detroit again with the bucket. Oh, great ball movement there. Wizards trail by seven. Washington time out, calls time out. timeout. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list and it boils down to the question toughness one team showing it the other allowing itself to be bullied
And the Pistons making a change here. Joseph's checked in. Taking a look here at numbers for Neto. Some last season stats for him. Averaged about eight points a game, two assists, and two rebounds. Just a fantastic score off the bench. Always a factor in every game he plays. What I love is he heats up quick because when you're on the second unit, you have no time to mess around. Now, here's Kispert. Six points for him. To the paint. Here's Grant. And he uses the glass on the way. And now a nine-point piston lead. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. And so it's Neto with the ball. He'll bring it up for Washington. To the middle. Stewart with the steal. Now Cunningham. This game he had 12. And the shot goes in. Yeah, and they're shooting really starting to pick up here in the second. Washington's gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. 5 of 12. Pass to Kispert. Here's Bryant. Fades away and sinks the tough shot. Bryant's got four points this quarter. And just using the natural advantage he has, he can see over the top of the defense. And let's also add, he has touch from there. That's a solid shot for him. Now, here's Cunningham. Get the teardrop. His shot is good. Scores his third basket in six tries. Shooting 50%. Just no resistance inside at all. They are feasting. This is a straight buffet. It is. It's a big one. And load the plate. It's deflected. And oh, here we go. Joseph's got it. The fast break chance. Here's Grant. Here's Stewart. And the dunk by Stewart. Super work on the boards. Boy, they really want to put their foot down on them now. Yeah, and once you've got him on the ropes, Greg, just keep swinging away. You know why? Because this defense is reeling. They had to stop there but couldn't secure the rebound. They're still looking for answers. Here's Kuzma following the bucket by the Pistons. Six to shoot. Ryan with a screen for Kuzma. A three-pointer off the mark. Pistons leading by 13. Grant goes in. Now here's Joseph. D right on him. Shot from free throw range. No good on that one. No other way to put it. Just a poor shooting performance for him. But luckily, his teammates have picked up the slack. On the wing, Bryant. An easy two points on the layup. Bryant's got six. Shut out in the first quarter. He's heating up now. I like the aggressiveness. Passes to Cunningham. Inside, Stewart. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Stewart's got the lead up to 13 now for the Pistons. Here's Neto. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Pass to Bryant. Here's Kispert. Bryant with a screen for Kispert. Oh, and he almost had a four-point play right there. He'll go to the line with a chance for three. It's going to be on Cade Cunningham. The Wizards have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. And their numbers from the line last season, they're good, just not great. About 77% as a team. Three shots. Three shots. That's good from Kisper. Washington making some changes. Gill is checked in for Bryant. Hachimura comes in for Kyle Kuzma. And it's Ish Smith in for Raul Neto. Detroit also making some changes. Olenek is checked in for Stewart. Diallo comes in for Grant, and Roddy Magruder's subbed in for Cunningham.
And good on the second free throw. Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for the Wizards. nails the third and just a much better job of attacking and getting to the line here in the second quarter didn't have a single attempt in the first now here's Bay he's coming off a 25 point game against Charlotte and no one on defense to stay in front of him he continually got pummeled and kept getting back to the strike Bay with it he's covered by Gill near the three-point line it's Joseph Gill with the rebound Wizards trail by 10. It's Caldwell Pope with the drive. Off the mark and a chance to trim it to single digits. Detroit's gotten both of their three-point attempts to go down here in the second quarter. Joseph, that's good. It, it really turned it around here in the second quarter after shooting less than 40% from the field in the first. Last outing for the Pistons, it was a loss to the Hornets. Smith, the pass to Hachimura. Down low. Outside for Caldwell Pope. Plays it up, and despite of the excellent defense at that, Caldwell Pope's got eight points. I mean, just a smooth customer off that pick and roll. KCP making a quick assessment and decides to take it for himself. Olenek, high post. Here's Magruder. Back to Olenek. Joseph with the ball. Guarded now by Kispert. Rebounded by the Wizards. Now here is Smith. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Over Joseph. Misses off the left iron. Trying to take advantage of soft defense. He might have gotten over eager. Diallo with it. He's against Smith. Diallo wins shot. Covered by Smith. And he gets the bucket. As the game has gone along, they've gotten more and more aggressive on the backboard. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Here he goes. That one's good. And the Houston lead is cut back down to 10 with the basket from Kispert. Taking what the defense offers up. Smith with good vision there finds the open man. Joseph dishes to Olenek. The pass to Diallo. Pistons passing it around. It's stolen by Hachimura. Smith the pass to Gill. And stolen by Diallo. A minute 50 left in the first half. And that's his third foul. The chance you take leaving a man with two. Let's see if they'll sit him now until the half. Hayes, he's checked in for Detroit. Out to the right wing. Gill against Bay. Counting his second make in four attempts. And that's just showing off right there, guys. I mean, he is too good with that crossover. There's a minute 34 left in the first half of the game. Now, here is Smith, covered by Hayes. Here's Kispert. Looks good, is good. Bucket number four from the field. He's taken only six shots. They're still behind, but not because of his efforts. He's been unbelievable this quarter. Pistons leading by 10. Olenek, I post. Nine points, last game out. Over Gill. Olenek can't hit. Decent look for mid-range, but there may have been a better option for them in that set. Smith outside. Pass to Kispert. 
Five to shoot. Back to Smith. Puts up a three. Drains the three. And yes, he'll go to the line for one more. It's going to go on Philly and Hayes. The Wizards have been on target from the free throw line. They're 5 of 5 in that department. One shot. Smith no good on the free throw. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach, driving and drawing, initiating contact, create opportunities, get to the line. Now here's Higgins. For three, a win it, and another three for Detroit. It's all about floor spacing. Every coach Olenek has played for loves to use him in that role. Now here's Kispert. He's guarded close. Over in the corner, Caldwell Pope for the three. Detroit with the rebound. Diallo's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Hayes with it from deep. And so that brings the first half to a close. Pistons lead by 10. And just now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Coach, it's early in the season, so what can you say about how things are going chemistry-wise so far? I love our guys. We have a great group of young Back to you. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. Hello, everybody. Maybe a bit of a surprise in this one, but what a fantastic first half we witnessed for the Detroit Pistons. Love how hard they're going at it on the offensive board, showing some real tenacity every time a shot goes up. They've carved out this lead because of their aggressive mindset. Don't expect that to change in the second half. All right, it's now time to recap some of the other games that have already been played. Boston came away with the win against the Hawks in Atlanta. Not a big surprise on that one. I hate to say it, but I think Kenny called it. And that concludes halftime. Now time to send it over to Kevin Harlan as the game's about to resume. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books, one half to go. You look at Jeremy Grant, what a contribution. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. This is his challenge, to continue to dominate, to help them try to close strong here in the second half. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you, two quarters in the books. Pistons leading by 10. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. So on the floor for Washington, Kyle Kuzma is out there with Kispert. Then it's Contavious Caldwell Pope. Then it's Thomas Bryant. And it's Neto in at the point guard. And here's Caldwell Pope. He brings it up for Washington. Kispert kicks to Bryant. Over Stewart, nails the baby hook. Bryant's got the first points of the third quarter up on the board for Washington. The Pistons shooting at 50% in a decent group. Joseph finds Stewart. To the paint, it's tipped. It's stolen by Bryant. And well, Pope up top, he's got eight. Passes it to Bryant. And it's Neto in the corner. Just five to shoot. 
And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. The Wizards shooting their 7th and 8th free throw attempts for the game right here. And the first one at the line is good. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And if you're just joining us, we played over a minute here in the third. The Bay. And here is Grant. 15 points in the game. Three pointer. Bay, no good. Wizards trail by six. Caldwell Pope on the wing. And the pass to Kuzma. Pass to Neto. And it's Kispert in the corner. Down to five on the shot clock. It's over Bay. Rebound, Detroit. Stewart's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Outside, Joseph. Passes it to Cunningham. Back to Joseph. Pass to Bay. Wow! came this close to a four-point point. point. He'll head to the line for three free throws. Yeah, good job trying to get a hand in the face, but you've got to be more careful. This is his first free throw of the game. 84%. That, that's what he was able to convert on a season ago from the line. Three shots. Three shots. He's good on the first of three. And he's good on the second. Makes all three. Wizards trail by nine. Neto, the pass to Brunt. He kicks it to Kispert. There's a screen by Bryant. And there's the try. It's blocked. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Wizards will retain possession. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. And a block like that sends a message. One that says, we're not giving up this lead. Bob Diaz checked in for Kispert. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. Puts one up from 19. Kept the line by Washington. Detroit leading by nine. Left side, Grant Stewart. And the dunk by Stewart. A jack of all trades, Jeremy Grant also has a strong feel for when his guys are uncovered. And it's Neto with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Washington Wizards. Now the pass to Abdiya. 
Caldwell Pope feeling it out of it. Bryant with a screen on Stewart. Shot clock at six. And it's out of bounds. Uh, they say it was last touch by Grant. Just three to shoot. Here's Kuzma. And, and not a night he's going to want to remember. Just not really able to score the basketball. Outside, Joseph to the middle. Here's Cunningham. And the layup's good off the glass. Cunningham's got eight points. And that's almost automatic anytime he can get the ball in that position. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Caldwell Pope kicks to Avdia. And it's Isaiah Stewart with the foul. That's foul number two for him. Now, here's Avdia. He's defended by Bay. Here's Bryant. That one drops for him. Bryant's got four points now in the quarter. Strong move at the rim. The defender was just a tad big late in contesting. The Pistons working the ball around now. Back to Joseph. Over to the wing. Here's Cunningham. It falls for his fifth field goal tonight. Now shooting five for eight. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. Neto kicks to Caldwell Pope. Sinks the triple. He's got 11. And the three-pointer, a big part of KCP's game. About half his shots come from out there. Pistons leading by 10. High post Stewart. Grant outside. There's the three. He can't get it to go. And it's Washington the other way. There's Kuzma. The lead now cut to single digits. Solid at fighting through contact. I like how Kuzma accepts these challenges and converts. Inside. Stewart down low. Working on Bryant. And there's the feed to Cunningham. Six to shoot. Screened by Grant. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Pistons. Anytime you get as many points from the paint as they have, you know you've got a good thing going. And how about the work they're doing Take a break. also Take on a break. the offensive class? Two Creating shots. those extra opportunities has been critical. The first one falls. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. Joseph drops them both. And the NBA dress code introduced back in 2005. Now, player attire straying a bit from business casual. Uh, does that bother you, Greg? You know, it doesn't bother me because that's where we are as a society. But, man, I can tell you, when I first came in the league, you get fined if you didn't wear dress socks with this suit. So we have come a long way in terms of the evolution of fashion. And you know what? I'm not one for stopping progress. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Wizards trail by 12. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Kevin, the number of female officials in the NBA has grown in recent years. 
Commissioner Adam Silver said we've expanded our pipeline to greatly increase the pool of potential hires. And we've seen encouraging results. There's no reason why we shouldn't have more women as officials, coaches, and basketball executives in our league. Kevin? Thank you, DA. And here's Stewart following Kyle Kuzma's three. B passes to Joseph. Makes it off the glass. Joseph's got eight points. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. For the Wizards, Gill is checked in for Bryant. Hachimura comes in for Kyle Kuzma. And Smith subbed in for Raul Neto. And then for Detroit, Kelly Olenek's checked in for Stewart. Diallo comes in for Sadiq Bey. And Hayes subbed in for Corey Joseph. Here's Smith. It's rebounded by Hayes. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. How is it possible? Wide open to. Now here is Smith following the miss by Kate Cunningham. And Jeremy Grant picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Rodney Magruder's checked in for Cunningham. On defense, the Pistons. Hachimura finds Smith. To the left side wing. Unloads from 13. Yep, that one goes. Caldwell Pope's got five points in the quarter. And Caldwell Pope able to hit those mid-range shots consistently, but that's one the defense will live with. Here's Diallo. Krill's the three-pointer. He's got seven. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. The reason why they've stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. Hits it from three-point range. Avdia's got five points so far. Matching baskets from the perimeter and earmarks of today's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. Here's Magruder. He dishes it to Grant. Pass to Hayes. Fires for three, and another three for Detroit. No hesitation off the catch. Killian Hayes looking assertive, taking these kinds of shots. Gill kicks to Hachimura. Wide open look. It's held in by Diallo. Diallo's got six rebounds here tonight. Here's Magruder. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. Woo, blown opportunity right there. Won't get many chances easier than that one. Here's Hachimura. Detroit with the rebound. Feeds it to Smith. Can't cash in on the 10-foot jumper. In the corner, it's Diallo. Passes to Hachimura. He feeds it to Smith. Back to Hachimura. Shot clock at five. And Will Pope with a wide open look. The Wizards with another miss. This is the shot they wanted to get. Right guy, right spot, wrong result. Hayes, no good. Wizards trail by 12. Smith outside. To the inside. Caldwell Pope kicks to Hachimura. Six on the shot clock. Here's Avdia. Rebound by Olenek. Pistons leading by 12. One fifty-two left to play in the third. Hachimura comes with the double team. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Ish Smith. That's his first foul.
Grizzards making a switch here. Kispert's checked in. And then for Detroit, Stewart checked in for Kelly Olynyk. Bay comes in for Diallo. And it's Cunningham in for Rodney Magruder. 146 left in the third. Stewart kicks to Cunningham. Lock at six. Here's Hayes. Count it. Hayes has got the lead up to 14 now for Detroit. Great effort from Killian Hayes here. Pushing through the contact and finishing well. Washington's gotten going here in the second half from outside, nailing three of four from the arc. Talking about Killian Hayes, you see raw potential. A point guard with outstanding size, which makes him an enticing player to watch. Gill against Stewart. Six on the shot clock. Gisbert kicks to Avdia. It's over Bay. Avdia can't hit. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D. Allen's position, you could see the frustration on his face. Grant against Hatchimura. And Jeremy Grant picks up the foul. That's his third foul of the game. Wow, take care of the basketball. Something he did a great job of in the first half, but not so much here in the second. Smith outside. Trying to end the drought. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Unafraid to take it inside. Ish challenging the defender. Comes out a winner. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. And not the guy you want to see at the line too often. Season numbers has him in the bottom tier of the league. One shot. One shot. And Smith, no good on that one. Few guards in this league shoot under 70% from the line. Smith's well below that mark for his career. Stewart, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. And, and Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. Washington with the ball after the basket by Detroit. Nice ball movement by Washington. Kispert with the bucket. Just a positive force right now for these guys. And though his team has fallen a bit short, it's not because of him. And it's Cunningham with the ball for Detroit. Screen by Grant for three. And another three for Detroit. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. The Pistons on top, leading by 14. We'll be back shortly, live from Washington. Now let's take a listen on head coach Dwayne Casey. Solid defense wins this game right here. All right, get a stop and take whatever offense gives them. Keep moving the basketball. Solid. Well, just taking things one you know step at a time, Greg, imploring his guys to be smart with the ball. A, a sound strategy. Dwayne Casey proving what a great communicator he is. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. On the court for the Pistons, Hayes and Cunningham, the backcourt pair. Bay and Grant are the forwards. And it's Stewart in at the five. Pistons leading by 11. I post Stewart. Cunningham passes to Grant. Kicks to Hayes. This one for three. That shot off. And Washington the other way now. Here's Kispert. And it's off the back rim, no good. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason 
why they're in control. With the drive, Hayes no good. Over in the corner, Avdia. Pass to Hachimura. He kicks to Avdia. The pass to Kispert. From the arc. Rebound by the Pistons. Now Hayes. Inside. The shot's good from Bay. And the Pistons lead by 13. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. Sticking to the high percentage shots. Playing smart with the lead. And a foul called on Cade Cunningham. That'll be his second foul of the game. Yeah, that's a tough call right there. And really a tough break for the D. Ryan is checked in for the Wizards. Contavious called Will Pope comes in for Avdia. Just over a minute and a half played here in the fourth. Neto finds Kuzma. Takes it from 10. Got that bucket. And you can just see he's a different player since coming back from halftime. Pistons leading by 11. Here's Cunningham. Grant outside. Dishes it to Cunningham. Five to shoot. Stewart, a screen for Hayes. And the dunk by Stewart. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Here's Neto after the basket by Detroit. Pass to Kispert. Out to Kuzma. Over in the corner, Caldwell Pope. It's over Bay. It'll go, and the Detroit lead is cut down now to just 11 on the bucket from Caldwell Pope. And truth is, I like what the defense does there, but KCP with the high release undeterred. Now, here's Cunningham. Not a lot of room. And Corey Kispert is going to pick up the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter. Here's Cunningham. Bryant with the rebound. Bryant's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Neto surveying the floor. Pass to Kispert. Just five to shoot. Releases. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. Pistons leading by 11. Pass to Bay. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Cunningham kicks to Grant. Here's Bay. Rebound by the Wizards. Kuzma's got his fifth rebound in this one. Bryant with a screen on Grant. Kuzma. From outside, off the mark. The Pistons have gone just 33% from the field in the fourth quarter so far. They are two of six. There's the pass to Cunningham. Nice ball movement by Detroit. Pass to Bay. Down low. Shoots. Cunningham gets the bucket. Cunningham's got nine points here in the second half. And really a good job spotting his teammate near the bucket and then just pinpoint passing for the finish. Here's Kispert. Sinks the three-pointer. Hey, continue to stack it up from three. He's got two in each half so far. Detroit leading by ten. This is it to Grant. And here's Stewart defended by Bryant. And it's good. Two points. Well, this is what you're trying to do. Put the game away. 
and he's doing it by getting to his spots and making big shots. Washington's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Back to Neto. Grant against Kuzma. Bryant with a screen on Grant. That will fall for his seventh bucket. Seven for 15 in this game. Teams try to play Kuzma physical, but he has the strength to power right through contact. Cunningham passes to Grant. Pass to Cunningham. Out to the right wing. Grant outside. From deep three-point range, Kuzma pulls it in. Kuzma's got his sixth rebound on the night. Here's Neto. Drives to the hoop. The dish to Bryant. Stolen by Grant. Now here's Bay. The pass to Grant. To the right side. Stewart down low. Defended by Bryant. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. Wizards trail by 12. Pass to Kispert. Kuzma outside. Here's Neto, covered by Hayes. Back to Kuzma. Bryant with a screen on Grant. Here's Kuzma. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. In the paint, Kuzma goes on the attack, making sure to play into the foul. First free throw is good. You know, he's one of the more underrated players in his draft class. Kuzma's proven that he should have been drafted higher in 2017. A lot higher, in my opinion. And so he's able to get one of two. Kispert kicks to Neto. Passes it to Kuzma. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single-digit lead. Kuzma's got 11 here in this quarter alone. Time call here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. And, and Coach is looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Critical part of the game. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust what you're doing. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Guys, I was able to listen in on what Dwayne Casey went over with his team. He likes where things are headed, but he cautioned them to play smart the rest of the way. He said carelessness with the ball, with assignments, with rotations, any of that can undo what we've worked to accomplish so far. Kevin, they are so close. Thank you, David. And there it is for him. He has been so big here in the fourth quarter, five of six from the field. Pistons leading by six. Hayes with it. Stewart, a screen for Hayes. And it's Grant in the corner. Pass to Bay. Picks it to Hayes. Here's the drive. And that one drops. And the Pistons lead by eight. And, and you like to see since the half now, he's finally starting to come around. Here's Neto, covered by Hayes. Kuzma sets a screen. Neto, the pass to Kuzma. Outside for Caldwell Pope. Off target from three-point range. And hard work on the glass once again, guys. And they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. Drills it from outside. Grant's got 20. 
continuing from where he left off. First three-pointer of this half, fourth of the game. Neto, the pass to Kuzma. Here's Neto, covered by Hayes. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And the first one at the line is good. And the Pistons making a change here. Joseph's checked in. Both shots good from the strike. So it's the Pistons now. They've led by as many as 14 points. Grant the pass to Stewart. Back to Grant. To the wing on the left. Hey, wide open, and he fired. Oh, no good on the triple. Wizards trail by nine. And the foul called on Cade Cunningham. That's his third foul of the game. And, and you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. Now, here's Kispert. He's defended by Bay. Bryant with a screen on Bay. Kispert, the pass to Bryant. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Beautiful call that time up the floor. The hard screen frees him up for the bunny. That one misses. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. I post Stewart. And here is Joseph. Six to shoot. Cunningham sets a screen for Joseph. Takes a three. And there's Grant on the assist from Joseph. Grant's got a couple of three-pointers now in the fourth for the Pistons. Now, here's Kispert. He's covered closely. It's good. Kispert's got 21. Here is Cunningham. We've got 155 left in the fourth quarter. Shot from 12. And the shot is long. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. It's stolen. Outside, Joseph. And he drops it in from the low post. And the Pistons lead by 10. For the Wizards, this one's not looking good. Now, Kispert. A wide open look here for Kuzma. No good from outside. We've got 113 left in the game. Stewart kicks to Bay. And the pass to Cunningham. Just four to shoot. I'm deep. It's rebounded by Neto. I'm not sure if anyone on the team has the green light from there. Definitely not him. It's the kind of shot that gives Hero Ball a bad name and causes your coach to consider another line of work. It's always risky to throw the double team at someone. You have to be aware of who you're leaving open. And so it's Joseph with it. He'll bring it up for Detroit. Seven point differential. Back to Bay. 
to the left wing. Just five on the clock. Screen by Grant. Cunningham with it. Hit there by Kuzma. Good on the bucket. That's good planning, and that's good execution. And that's a great look. Here's Kispert. Offline with his three. Right side, Joseph. And so the Pistons take the win. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And, and let's face it, any time you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. it really an outstanding effort all the way around. And that about wraps it up. Now for Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge.